The chairperson of the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee and Aragua Member of Parliament Jeremiah Kioni has accused the National Assembly House Business Committee of open bias and frustrating the work of his committee after it prioritized the referendum bill sponsored by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. A harmonized report on the two contentious referendum bills before the House was tabled last evening. And as members of the National Assembly resumed debate on the Justice and Legal Affairs team-sponsored bill, Kiani said that he was not a happy man. Listen. The committee goes out and engages the public and develops a bill. And the bill is ahead of the park. It is only fair and reasonable to other colleagues of parliament that that bill, bill be given its rightful place. But for another committee to start the whole process and develop another bill, and that bill to be fast-tracked by the leadership of parliament to overtake the other, I do not think that is a fair game. And this is the second time, Mr. Speaker, my committee is being treated the same way. We had the IBC bill that is still pending somewhere. We did it ahead of JIRAC. The one of Ojerak was brought ahead and fast-tracked. That is not right. There's a harmonized report by the two committees. And as you debate, you want to consider the, the recommendations made by the two committees jointly in their report. If any of us were also in uh, Kioni's shoes, you may want to say exactly what he has said. And sometimes some of us also wondered in the last parliament why COIC was there. But in terms of auditing the Constitution, the function was given to Budget and Appropriations Committee. Some of us really wondered loudly. Nandi County is in court trying to ask questions uh, from the court to be given directive as to how do they, in which manner, are they going to approve the already uh, bill that has been sent to them. So, and I'm wondering, if, even if a judge was to make a judgment, what would they be referring to without a referendum law? Let's now get to know more about that. And we're crossing over live to KICC, where senior political reporter Patrick Amimo is on standby with Jeremiah Kioni, who is the chair of the Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee. Amimo, over to you. Thank you, Ashley. That is, you see, that the debate uh, going around the referendum bill, the need for the country to have a standalone referendum bill that will uh, harmonize all laws under the election, election act, various election acts and bring them together that will now, from henceforth, will guide referenda, conduct, conduct, con conduct of referenda at both the national and county level. And last, uh, following the proceedings last evening, we've just heard uh, the chairperson of the CIOC, Jeremiah Kioni, saying he was not a happy man. His committee had been looking at this particular particular bill uh, on the referendum, but then the House Business Committee gave priority to, the, to that made uh, sponsored by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, JLAC bill. Mushima Kioni, your response, oh, why were you not happy? Um, for the reason that it appears that uh, some individuals within the House Business Committee uh, might not quite be in, in the clear on the provisions of our 2010 Constitution. The con CIOC is a constitutional committee formed by, under the provisions of the Constitution. JLAC is formed under the standing orders. Of course, also, there is reference of it in the, in the Constitution as part of the parliamentary committees. But the important here is that uh, we as CIOC, having understood our constitutional mandate, started working on a referendum bill back in the year 2019. CIOC, um, um, JRAC picked on this uh, in 2020. We finished all that needs to be done for a bill to be tabled uh, by um, uh, September of 2020, and we tabled. Having gone around the country, talked to about 10 um, bodies, institutional bodies, and some of them constitutional bodies. And we had a bill that was ready way before even uh, we started this uh, uh, BBI process. Yes, looking at it, when the, when the speaker was, was indicating on why they prior, prioritized the JLAC bill, he said that uh, it, it had taken, it was, it, 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 it has taken a long time and it was due to a wide consultation saying that it was a peak from the previous, uh, previous the 11th parliament. I don't think so. And if that is the case, then the mouse have slept on their job. And looking at the two bills, without doubt, um, uh, I can say that the CIOC bill is a, is a superior bill. 
um, and I but I think um, I think it is important for purposes of um, ensuring that this constitution is implemented that uh, these committees are given their their due role and are allowed to play out on the floor of the house and a fatal thing that would happen to parliament is when one committee is seen to be superior to the other but uh, for the sake of this country for the sake of the bbi process we will work on the bill that the house wants to work on we have the jlac bill we'll use what we had gathered from the cioc process to inform the bill that is on the floor but this is something that should not be repeated uh, going uh, forward looking at it having listened to the debate uh, last evening there were those members who thought that the cic bill should also be debated uh, 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 even as members maybe uh, pass the, the the jlac bill so they thought also cioc bill should be given preference for members to uh, brainstorm over it and see whether they adopt it and or not your views on this and i can tell you if that was to that was possible it would be the better thing for uh, for us as a country but if it's not possible again we really do not want to take a hard stance for the purposes of moving the country forward but on matters on principle the leadership of parliament failed here and everybody can see it out there in the country we have been at the forefront we've shown a lot of commitment on this and we spent a lot of time uh, thinking through uh, remember the pugusa muzigo it was again um, uh, before Kenyans without a referendum bill. And this is why we thought that as a, as a committee with that mandate, we needed to work on that. And I allow me to also point out that uh, a little bit earlier, maybe 2019, we also had the IBC bill treated the same way by the leadership of parliament. Thank you. Thank you, Bushima. Just let me hold you on uh, briefly. Just uh, for, Let's take a, a, just a short break, then we'll be back uh, with the interview with Bushima Kioni. Kindly. <laughs> 